We're back up out of the cellar, much more in my native habitat on this side of the bar. You're in your natural habitat on that side of the bar. And we're joined by Ben Lockwood, who's the Assistant Brand Manager for Nicholson's. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little tutor tasting of the Nicholson's Pale Ale, which is brewed by St Austell specifically. However, I need you to pour some first, and while you're doing that, I'm going to have a chat with Ben. The Cast Masters programme that Nicholson's has seems to be very unique. Tell me a little bit more about it. Yeah, it's a, it's a really, really interesting uh, job role that James has got here. And uh, we've got one, we've got James in every single one of our 77 businesses across the UK. And basically what they do is they look after all the cask ale in that pub. They talk to the guest if the guest has got any questions. They engage the guest, they educate the guest. And um, then we do our part by engaging them. We send them to breweries, they go and brew their own beer. They then come back to the pub and sell that beer. Um, and then now and again we send them on training courses and we get them together as a big group um, to do conferences and just kind of keep giving them a little bit more knowledge along the way. Fantastic. I know brewing your own beer is extremely exciting up at breweries. Yeah, very exciting. It's really good. And you get such a knowledge from it as well. Do you think that's that's really key for how they actually present the beer to the customers as well? I think it just gets them engaged on a whole new level that an ordinary beer doesn't get them. So the fact they go to a brewery, they get to see the brewery, uh, the beer getting made from kind of the first process to the last, and then it kind of, the last step is, is here at the pub. And then it's just easy for them to really recognise it, which yep. is why they do so in Nicholson's Pale Ale because they know that you can't get that anywhere else, it's only available in our pubs. Yep. So as soon as that's on the bar and it's available every day, they just recommended it over and over again and it's just getting a real loyal following. Fantastic, well that's great. First things first, we want to check that we don't have any passengers or friends and nothing paddling in there, nothing floating, nice and clear. Not all car scale or, or not all beer is designed to be clear but we know that this particular one is supposed to be. So it's that beautiful golden amber colour. This is the proper amber nectar, eh? It looks great. It does, doesn't it? Um, I always find that, that when you're first assessing a beer, that if you gently put your hand over the top, give it a really gentle swirl, hence why it's not full glass. Mm -hmm. So, give it a gentle swirl, bring your hand up to your nose, release, and then you get that lovely aroma. I mean, that's that beautiful aroma that's pouring off from the hops. Lovely grassy, nettly, orangey, little touch of toffee in there as well. It's a really aromatic beer. So really enjoyable, and then, of course, it's the good bit. Take a good swig. And that roll all over your palate. So refreshing and sessionable, isn't it? Beautiful temperature as well. Well done, Castmaster. Master. <laughs> um, beautiful, Nick, beautiful temperature. Look at that beautiful lacing down the side with the, with the head. Lovely flavour, orange marmalade, a little bit of breadiness. Really nice grassy finish. Do you get a bit of that caramel on the Hint's on the caramel, palate? Yeah, yeah. hints caramel. In the citrus. Yeah. Yeah, very subtle citrus. I think a really nice long orange pe peely kind of finish to it. Yeah, go with that. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Well, cheers to keeping a good beer. I reckon. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So you've seen the complete journey from grain to glass. You've seen the inside of St Austell Brewery. You've also seen the making of Nicholson's Pale Ale, and the inside of the Carpenters Arms in Windsor. Now all that remains is to see you at the bar. Cheers.